Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. What's good work guys, Matt here, Country Song Teacher, your favorite day of the week, it's He Played What Wednesday. We break out a little non-country uh, classics that all the crowd knows. This one's got to be up there top 10. Um, you can play this at a, at a ball game, at a party, whatever, everybody's going to know this one. It's going to use what I call the track chord, because you slide down these two middle strings called the tracks. Uh, let me play through it here. Uh, also, people have asked me, said, Matt, you ought to consider doing a He Played What Wednesday songbook. So, your wish is my command. I'm going to work on that when I get back to Raleigh. Right now, y'all, I'm, I'm in Ocean City. So, I'll, I'll work on that. This will definitely be in that book. Uh, this is a fun song to play. And if you play acoustic guitar, you got to know. So, the crowd can get into it. It goes up. Just a small town girl Living in a lonely world Took a midnight train going anywhere. Just a city boy, born and raised in South Detroit. Took a midnight train going anywhere. Singer in a smoky room, smell of wine and cheap perfume. Like I said, I'm going to play the same chords over and over and over. I'm going to show you, you can play the E chord two ways. The track method, I think sounds cool, it's open chord. Uh, you're going to take your ring finger and pinky finger and play these two middle strings of the ninth fret. If you even notice these dots, this dot's on the third fret, the fifth fret, the seventh, and ninth. So kind of a faster way, go to that fourth dot, play the two middle strings, again with your ring finger and pinky finger. Skip the eighth fret and play the fifth string with your first finger. It's an open E chord. It's going to be a, a, a real full, cool sound. The strumming pattern you're going to do for these verses. So strum, stop, strum, stop. That's kind of the pattern you're going to use for these verses. Then you're going to slide down to the fourth and second. This is going to be a little bit harder because the frets are wider at the end. Same pattern. Then slide to the sixth and fourth. Then you're going to slide to the two middle strings for your A. So again, 7th and ninth that's your E. Then the B, 4th and 2nd. C sharp minor is 4th and 6th. The A is just your 2nd. Just a small town girl Living in a lonely world She took a midnight train going Now this last little chord you're going to learn a bar chord. If you can't do this one, just play that C sharp minor because it just sounds just, just as good. What you want to actually do is play a G sharp minor where you squeeze this fourth fret and play the fifth and fourth strings of the sixth fret. So it has a little, little uh, kind of a lower that goes up. She took a midnight train going right here. So the chords are going to be, remember, A, I mean, uh, E to B, C sharp minor, A, that's your first round, then E to B, G sharp minor, A. So again, here's a close-up of those. Seventh and, again, two middle strings, seventh and nine. Slide to fourth and second. Slide to sixth and fourth. Then slide to just a second. Just a small town girl living in a lonely world. She took a midnight train going. Again, bar that fourth fret and play the fifth and fourth. 
Stay on that A. Again, on the A chord, you can use your ring finger, pinky finger, or you can put the two middle strings. Strings, waiting, E. Up and down the boulevard. So again, what I'm doing there, since I go from this E, these two middle strings, I go to, I mean, this A chord here. For E, I'm just going to go third finger and then up to fifth and second. So if you want to go back to this high E, you can do that, but on this one, strangers waiting E. See that easy transition? Just move your two fingers up a string, put a third. Up and down the boulevard, there's shadows searching in the night. Street lights, people living just to find emotions. That back to that B chord, which again is the fifth string and two middle. Now, this little string stop, I do this in so many songs, that little, where you strum, stop, strum, stop. It's a great thing to learn. If you can't do that, just do down strums, like, like, just a small town girl. Took a midnight train going anywhere. Like that. Just, just keep it simple. But it's still all about strumming is all about timing. So it's so as important as strumming patterns, that kind of thing is, it's still about a flow and the timing of the song. So you can do patterns all day long, but if you don't have that Boats watching my performance here. Okay. Uh, all right, guys, check out the website countrysongteach.com. I'm gonna do a little prize giveaway too. I'm gonna give away five country song, te country song teacher picks for anyone who purchases my sand sandbar country song book or my bundle package um, tonight. So I'll upload this video to go live at seven o'clock tonight. From from tonight till tomorrow, I'm giving five people. I'll announce it on my Instagram the winners. So if you're not following me on Instagram. Which is my name, Country Song Teacher. We'll do five winners of a Country Song Teacher pick that I use in my videos. I'll send you in the mail with a little thank you note for all the support. So anyone who purchases the Sandbar Country Song Book tonight enters for a chance to win. I'm picking five winners. So thank you guys for the support. All the links are in the bio, countrysongteacher.com. I got my four chord song books, my strumming DVDs, Sandbar song books, you name it. I got it on there, so go check it out. Like I said, the Sandbar Country Song Book or the Bundle Pack enters you for a chance to win. Until next time, see y'all later. Later, guys.